Hello, my name is Paul Thorpe. I'm chairman of Retford Bowling Green Limited. At the moment, I'm at Bachelor Museum having a magnificent display portraying our club with many, many artifacts. The club was started as Retford Bowling Club by Canon Ebsworth in 1894. Canon Ebsworth was the vicar of St Swithins. They run into a few difficulties and it was liquidated. But again, it was reopened as Retford Bowling Green Limited by Canon Ebsworth and several local businessmen in 1897. There was an elected board of directors and a management committee and all members become shareholders after a full year's membership. It was strictly men only until the early 1990s when women were allowed to join and they have proved a very valuable asset with capable bowlers at county level and we have one national junior champion. We're more than just a bowling club, we have associate and social members, indoor activities, canasta, snooker, short mat bowls and social events. 2022 this year is our 125th anniversary and along with the usual annual programme we had special celebration evening with invited dignitaries from Bachelor District Council, Notts County Council, Notts Bowls Federation and Notts Bowls Association, live entertainment and superb refreshments. We had special and different bowling events, one organised by our Lady Captain Carol Norman which gave us a full day's bowling with wonderful refreshments in between. Our match and competition secretary, Trevor Lewis, organised a crazy golf competition incorporating fancy dress and bowling through, round and over obstacles, including a ramp into a duck pond. A very entertaining day with plenty of laughs and a few smothered expletives. The club was fairly famous for its wisteria, which was there from the early, eight, early 1890s, but unfortunately had to be cut down to make way for the new clubhouse. Many members were sad to see it go, but the actual trunk from the wisteria was cut up and sold off uh, to raise funds for the new clubhouse. The final piece was mounted uh, and is used now, to, it's dedicated and, and it's played annually uh, for a much prized trophy. We have a proud past. We are now focused on future, pursuing initiatives to reduce the impact on the environment. We have LED lighting installed, we've replaced some double glazed windows and funds are being raised for solar panels. We have our own qualified coaches who provide free coaching on our open day and many Saturdays after. Retford Bowling Green Limited have been privileged to be asked by Retford Council to provide similar facilities at Kings Park on Charter Day. Many new members have been recruited in this way, enabling the club to prosper. Playing bowls is good, gentle, physical activity, stimulates mind and body provides competitive yet social activity for all ages and in my opinion is a vast asset to the community. As I said earlier, I'm at Bassalore Museum on Grove Street, Retford. The display depicting Retford Bowling Green is quite concise, consisting of uniforms, county uniforms, playing uniforms and the uniform that we actually have for the club, the club uniform. We have bowls on display, we have photographs on display, uh, some of them very, very old photographs from many, many years ago. Uh, and we also have the display of the Wisteria, the Wisteria trophy I mentioned, which is the one that's played for regularly. There are many other things at Bachelor Museum as well, many other exhibitions that are well, well, well worth a visit.